welcome back guys so this is now another question uh, this is basically the part b of question 34 in which again we are asked to find out the values of current i1 and i2 and here we can see that the total current is already known okay so what we have to do we have to apply the current divider rule which we had previously used okay so now in order to do so let me use the same procedure first of all let me represent this circuit with other circuit in which the impedances are represented by these blocks okay so this is block one while this is block two here okay so let me call it z1 and this z2 and here the source cu source current is already known which is this i while the values of current this is i1 okay so let me represent it with this red color uh, or doing it like this is the z1 while this one is i2 okay so let me represent this one with the green color okay and this is z2 so now we can see that this is a circuit in which this is z1 while this is z2 uh, so what we have to do uh, in order to find the value of i1 i have seen that the value of i1 is basically equal to what okay so let me write the formula uh, the value of i1 according to the current divider law is z2 divided by z1 plus z2 multiplied by i and this formula is uh, only applicable if z1 and z2 are in parallel with each other okay so again i don't know the value of z1 and z2 while the value of i is already known and that is here okay uh, so here let me uh, write their values so in order to do so let me first calculate the values of z1 and z2 so the value of z1 is how much we can see here that this is the inductive reactance so therefore this is j x l okay so now writing its value what i will get i will get here j4 ohm okay so that is the value of z1 in order to find the value of z2 we can see that here the resistor and the capacitive reactants are connected in series with each other so therefore what i have to do this will be r and uh, here i will have this x of c so as these are connected in series so therefore minus j will be added with this x of c and here i have this uh, z2 so now putting their values what i will get so z2 is equal to 12 minus j6 okay so that is basically the value of z2 now in order to find the value of i1 what i have to do let me put their values here so the value of z2 is uh, 12 minus j6 dividing it over z1 plus z2 so the value of z1 is already known that is j4 while the value of z2 is uh, plus 12 minus j6 okay and multiply it with what i have to multiply it with this 6 and 30 degrees because of this value okay so this value is already known which is the source current so uh, let me solve it now so in order to solve it what i have to do so this is now i1 so i1 is 12 minus j6 divided by as these two we can see that this one and this one these are two the imaginary quantities while this one is the real one so imaginary quantities will be added together so therefore here i will get 12 and plus j minus plus j4 and minus j6 is equal to minus j2 okay multiply it with this 6 30 degrees okay uh, so now um, again the operations involved here are basically the multiplication and division so therefore come uh, for multiplication and division again the polar form is the feasible one so converting these rectangular forms into the polar form what i have to do so let me represent them here so 12 and uh, minus 6 with an iota so this one is here and representing it in the polar form what i have to do shift two okay three so what i will get i will get here 13.4 okay 
so 13.4 with an angle of minus 26.5 so 13.4 with an angle of minus 26.56 okay and dividing over this 12 minus j2 again this is the rectangular form so let me convert it into the polar form so this will be 12 minus 2 with an iota so here this is 12 minus iota again converting into the polar form what i will get 12.17 so 12.17 and the angle with it is minus 9.46 okay so angle with it is minus 9.46 and multiplying it with 6 and 30 degrees okay similarly in order to solve it now uh, multiplying the amplitude so 13.4 multiplied by 6 divided by 12.17 and the angles here are minus 26.56 okay and this one is the positive so adding it with the numerator term here so these two are the numerators which are added together while this one is the denominator and the sign of it will be changed so therefore it will be 9.5 four six okay so uh, this is i1 so the i1 is now equal to 13.4 multiplied by 6 divided by 12.17 okay so it would be 6.6 6.6 amperes while the angles it has are minus 26.56 and uh, plus this is 39.46 because 30 and uh, 9.46 are added so i will get 39.46 so what i will get okay so that will be 12.9 so here i will get 12.9 degrees so this is the value of current i1 which I have found out by using the current divider law. Okay, so uh, in this circuit, I have found out the value of I1. Now to find out the current uh, I2, what I have to do, I will uh, represent my calculations with this green color. So now, in order to do so, what I have to do, the value of I2 is what this is Z1 divided by z1 plus z2 why z1 uh, it is uh, basically explained in my previous video so i will put a link over here so you can basically see what does it mean to write the z1 in the numerator despite i z2 okay so now multiplying it with i the total current now putting values here so the value of i2 is now the value of z1 is how much z1 is j4 okay so the value of it is j4 and in polar form it will be 4 and 90 degrees okay while the z1 plus z2 were was previously converted into the polar form as well okay so that is now 12.17 with an angle of minus 9.46 so 12 point 17 with an angle of minus 9.46 okay and the total current here is how much the total current uh, here is 6 and uh, the angle is 30 degrees so 6 with an angle of 30 degrees okay so these are all the values so now let me solve them here because all the values here are now in polar form so it is now very easy for me to solve them by using the multiplication and division so i2 is now 4 multiplied by 6 divided by 12.17 okay and the angles here are 90 degrees plus 30 degrees plus 9.46 okay uh, so what i will get here so the value of i2 will be equal to that would be uh, 4 multiplied by 6 divided by 12.17 okay so this is more now 1.97 amperes okay while the angles here are 90 plus 30 is how much that is uh, 120 so 120 plus 9.46 is 129. 
46 degrees. So that is the value of current I2 which I wanted to find out. Okay. Out, okay. So that's it for the part B of my question 34 and I have seen uh, that uh, how easy it is to find the values of the unknown currents if we know the source current and all the impedances which are connected in parallel with each other. Okay. Uh, so that's it for today in which we have covered a very basic uh, current divider rule uh, which is very important for you to understand in order to find the unknown currents. So that is it for today and I will see you with some more important stuff in our upcoming video. Stay tuned and if you have any question please ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much and see you soon.